Okay, interview with Gary Setchell after Bedford Town 1, Tamworth 8. Gary, we knew days like this would come, but that was an exceptionally good performance from Tamworth against the side with us that we just weren't on it today, were we? Um, well, I didn't know there was any of them coming. I knew that we'd take a couple of, um, you know, we'd take a couple of beatings, but I didn't expect that. That's not, that's not even the, that's not even the scoreline really. That's more that's more the, the level of performance, which was which was poor. The goals we could see, the poor. Um, you know, I think they've scored four or five goals from one straight ball down the pitch and the centre forward flicks it onto the other centre forward. You know, and that's that's inexcusable. You know, if you can't defend a long ball, and then you're in big problems. And Tam Tamworth have obviously seen them vulnerable in that area because they, they didn't play two up front all year. They played the two lads up front who are both capable in the air. Two minutes in, long ball down the pitch, flick onto the other lad and he slots it in. And then 20 minutes in, you know, we've got three centre-halves and the player's totally free at the far post in about eight yards of space with a free header at the far post. And then, obviously, we, we change it and chase the game. Um, we changed to a four, which didn't help us from the three. And, you know, we can see three goals in the first five minutes of the second half, which is, you know, that's inexcusable. Um, you know, I have to take responsibility because I'm the man who put the put the players out there. But, you know, I think a few of the players have got to hold their hands up today and take a little bit of responsibility. But in the main, it stops with me. And, you know, we never really got going. You know, the subs come on and give us a little bit of energy. And I'm glad Joe scored because he's... he's you know, he's desperate to play and desperate to start. We got some minutes into DS and, you know, probably the only player for me who, who really kept going and wanted the ball all the time and didn't hold up was, was Booksy. You, you mentioned there about, you know, you have to take responsibility for it. Yeah, you know, we won the league, yeah, we are yeah. now we're yeah, yeah. in that position, so you say that. But do you, do you manage that by saying you were disappointed with individual performances by talking to the lads individually about their performance, or do you just go for it as a group? No, I, I, we, I sp I'll speak to him individually on Tuesday about that. And, you know, that's, that's just about, you know, like I, just said to the, like I just said to the players, you know, the players who were here last year, the credit in the bank's gone. You know, you, the four games in now with four points. The credit's gone, the same as my credit. You know, we had we had all the pats on the back for last year. That's done. This is a fresh season, and you know, you take you take many more of them. And obviously, questions do get asked, but that 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 ain't going to happen. That just ain't going to happen. I, I don't let that happen. We've got to be better. Um, we've got to keep eleven men on the pitch. When that's a cop out for me. I've just told him in there. That's a cop out. Um, four nil, four five nil down, and then you leave the floor. That's, that's just dro that's just dropping your teammates in the in the cart which we which we haven't done but you know let's let's give some credit to Tamworth as well they was ruthless peaks he'd done his homework he'd obviously spotted we're vulnerable which we are which we've got to be we've got to address that um and you know i've, I've just said to the players they've, they've got to you know how it is in football that'll always be someone else's fault i think they, they, need, they need to question their own performances today all, all 16 of them individually what they could have done better what they can do a lot better and not what everyone else can do because as times after a result like that people have to take responsibility I'll take responsibility because I'm the man who put them out there but the players have got to take responsibility as well and not time to hit the panic button no these these are these are a good set of lads obviously I knew we'd take one or two beatings but that's that's a horrible one especially at home well especially away 8-1 or whatever it was um, losing a man as well but if, if you hit the panic button that's no good me hitting the panic button because um these boys look to me to not hit the panic button. You know, we've got to regroup. That's what we've got to do. We don't hit the panic buttons. We, we regroup. We get back to doing what we do well. And we've got to find a way for this group of players to play, which we ain't quite found yet. You know, we've, we've huffed and puffed in a few games and we've looked well in patches and we've played well in some of the games. Um, and people tell me we're a good side, but, you know, results like that, I'll tell you that we're definitely lacking something. Um, and... You know, we've, we've, we've just got to get back to the drawing board. Come in Tuesday, Thursday, we've got to train hard. And then we've got two real tough games next week in Hendersford and um, Royston, which, you know, this the, we need to show the characters of the team next week. There, you know, we'll, we'll have to pick a team to suit and go to Hendersford and, and, try and try and get back on the tracks. Still looking to strengthen the team then? Well, we've got to, but, you know, we're, we're, we're sort of on budget. That'll be a sort of probably one-in-one-out sort of scenario. But, this, you know, I've had a good look at it now. Normally, i say, like, we'll wait 8, 10, 12 games. But we, we definitely need a strength in, in one or two areas. And that's, that's something that I'll be looking to do um, over the next couple of weeks. But 
you know, these these lads in in a bad group. Um, I've told them my thoughts um, in a in a in a controlled manner. There was no point in going in there and shouting and screaming after an eight one defeat. Told them a few home truths, and you know, we'll see. Hopefully, see the reaction of that on next Saturday. We'll only know when we're standing here next Saturday talking on the pitch at Hensford. Hopefully, with a lot better performance than what we what we give today. How does the management team pick them up? What will the week look like? Well, 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 we'll come in and we'll, we'll work hard and we'll have a chat about it. And, you know, I'll, I'll obviously watch the VO. I've, I've invited the players to watch the VO as well because, you know, I've had to sit and watch it. I think they should have the pleasure of sitting and watching it as well. Um, and we'll, we'll just we'll just see. We, you know, we've got, to, like I say, we've got to regroup. That ain't like we're winless or anything like that. We've had a real bad day at the office. We ain't had many since we've been there. You know, even Kings Langley the other night weren't a bad day at the office. We played reasonably well, but... You know that's inexcusable. You know people pay money to come and watch that, and you know that's 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 not that's not good enough. You mentioned them there, the fans that did come out today. They did stick by the team, didn't they? they yeah, were brilliant. They were. You, yeah. know, you were getting one Gary Settle throughout. <laughs> so the noise when Butts scored was yeah. was there. It was a credit to the well, team. I think I think that, I think that some sometimes you have to. That's, that's one of them. And if you don't laugh, you'll cry. And that was a for them. I think that was probably a laugh moment rather than a cry moment because we weren't good enough. You know, I, I, a lot of these players took a lot of pats on the back from a lot of these fans last year and um, including myself and on days like today you know perhaps they shouldn't have been so good to us you know perhaps they should have let us have it a little bit more but they didn't they stuck with us which I'm grateful for but I, you know I slightly embarrassed them when they're singing my name when we're 8 nil down but there you go um, fair play to them we appreciate it but you know we've got to do better for them you know I, I said to I think I openly said when we come into this division, you know, we will win, we will lose, but we'll be competitive in in most of the games. We certainly weren't competitive today in, in, in any part of that game. Absolutely. And just finally, you've mentioned the fact it's Henderson away and Royston. You and I sat down and said this was a three-game period that looked, you know, particularly difficult. But we've now got to go off the back of the 8-1, which will be a fresh game, fresh approach, and of course chance to put it right. Yeah, we've just we've, we've somehow got, a, you know, what we can see today, 14. 11 of them have been soft goals 11 of them have been soft goals and you know you're not going to win football matches or or compete and do well in leagues if you if you concede in 11 soft goals in four games you know that's you don't have to be a nuclear physicist to work that out so you know as down as I am I'll go home I'll watch the video whenever Dan decides to download it and I'll watch the game back and you know we'll, we'll try and come up with something there'll be a lot of phone calls there'll be a lot of I don't know, soul searching, but you know, I'm 600 games in as a manager now. Like that, in the first time I've been beat well at home, and that probably won't be the last. But there ain't been too many with that, with that manner of defeat. And I, I don't, I don't want to use the word gutless, but very, very timid performance. Um, and individually, and collectively, and as a management team, we have to make sure we don't have too many more days like that. And hopefully we won't. So there is a coach going to Hendersford, so you can get on that from the Erie next week. Details online about that, Bedford Eagles on it. Otherwise, Royston here, Bank Holiday Monday. Get your tickets now at bedfordeagles.net.